Grandpa Newbie reporting for duty, and it's time for something new. I mean, I see you guys out there carrying your statics, your rival nines, your MCWs, your Stig 44s, and nothing else. Well, there's only a few weeks left in the game, so don't complain about it being stale if all you're going to do is carry the same stale weapons around with you. Try something new. And what does Dr. Grandpa Newbie have for prescription? Well, what about the TR-76 Geist? Let's have a look at this configuration. We'll start with the 45 round mag, and you can see that it impacts mobility and handling. And why the 45 round mag? Because we have a rate of fire at 638.3 rounds per minute, pretty quick for an AR. What about the damage? Headshot is 45, and upper torso is 40, lower torso torso and upper legs are 35 each, meaning if you could just keep it a little bit high, it's going to be a four shot gag. Now, faster for an enemy that's already wounded and you come up against those guys all the time. Here's the key though. Effective damage range reaches out to more than 30 meters with a minimum damage range of 51.4 meters. What's the bullet velocity look like? 680 meters per second, which means the hit scan range the range at which a shot is just like point blank, essentially, is 34 meters. So all the way out to the long effective damage range, your weapon's going to be like a hit scan weapon. Recoil, gun kick, not bad under 30 degrees per second. Horizontal recoil is awesome at just over 10 degrees per second. And vertical recoil, very controllable, 56.04 degrees per second. Not the fastest mobility and handling, although sprint to fire. 120 milliseconds. Also not necessarily a hip fire machine, but it'll do in a pinch. What about the rest of the attachments? The tactical grip tape and that significantly improves sprint to fire. Impacts recoil at 6%, you're not going to notice it. The expedite grid pad. Again, sprint speed, a little bit. ADS movement speed, though, at 3 meters per second. That's going to be decent for a weapon that packs this kind of punch and can reach out all the way to 30 meters. The LOC.2 short barrel helps with the ADS speed minimally, and we're trying to get some of that tax stance back. Effective damage range, we give up a little bit, but don't worry about it. It's less than 10%, and you also still reach out to more than 30 meters. Grandpa's favorite, the paracord grip for the underbarrel. Look what it does for horizontal recoil. Sprint to fire speed, 15% improvement. ADS movement speed is 7% improvement even helps the movement speed a little bit and there's no negative to it let's go into the shooting range and see how it does we'll start at that 30 meter re medium range very good Insta gack at 10 meters and you can't go wrong so try something new put away those guns you use over and over and over again and take the TR-76 Geist onto the field of honor, like Grandpa's about to do. Let's see what it did to Grandpa's enemies, what it did for Grandpa. Let's go. Now there's some method to Grandpa's madness. Season 6 saw a huge buff to the TR-76 Geist in terms of ADS speed, damage ranges. I mean, I didn't pick this like a blowing straw out of the air, there was a reason I picked the Geist, and there's a reason you should try it out. So we put it in free-for-all on a very tight map that does have some open lanes, to be fair. So Grandpa's running around, he's getting wounded, and he gacks Elvis. Elvis was standing in the corner with some kind of flashlight, and there's a knifer of some sort. I guarantee you he's laying right there waiting on Grandpa to try to commit gross, poor, elder abuse. And I didn't quite get the reload done there, so I only had one shot and pulled out the Renetti for a few love taps. Finally, Grandpa goes down like the Titanic. I don't know, is it too soon to make a joke like that? I mean, it happened in 1912. Whoa. Dual Renettis, they're pretty good too. Grandpa may do a dual Renetti video. I don't think I've done one. Pretty powerful. 
Got him back, though. Scarhead. Or was that a crash dummy? That's what he was. Crash dummy. That girl won't be selling any Thin Mints in the Girl Scout annual cookie sale this year. There's flashlight. I wonder what he's using. Maybe if he gacks me, I'll have a have a look if he sells me the farm. I always use the black light flashlight on free for all because it really is an advantage to see where the footsteps are. There's a long shot down there. Surely he's not dumb enough to come back. But Grandpa's dumb enough to let Noxima face sell him the farm sight unseen. But this weapon feels powerful. It feels like powerful bullets coming out of the end of that thing. And at that range, the guy's gas. He had a buzz kill. Somehow he had a buzz. That range? Come on back. Come on back. Nope. There he is. gac mole Playing gac mole Whoa. Grandpa gets gacked. He's barely got a lead, but I'm liking this weapon. And this is the first time I tried it out. I just built the class. I, I had the class actually saved. The only thing I changed out was... Last time I tried it was before the paracord grip came out. And the paracord grip, despite what some people may tell you, is almost a must-have if it's available for the weapon. Come on, somebody peek. Oh, that's what happens when you walk around ads and free-for-all. Let's put out the welcome mats. Now, one thing I have noticed... And the waning days of Modern Warfare 3 is people are unashamedly using their aftermarket steroids. In fact, they're boasting about it. I've been in several lobbies over the last few days where people have said, Oh, how are my cheats working? I mean, come on. It's not the field of honor if you dishonor it. That's profaning the ritual there of COD. And who wants to be profane? Don't answer that question, please. Whoa, there's somebody set up. I'm going to gack that guy. Whoa, no. The Muppet got me. Noxima face is a Muppet. He's got the night cream on. I'm going to go back and get him. Grandpa doesn't like to be Muppeted. Comment below if you're a Muppet. See, that was an Egyptian statue of one of their guys. There, where is he? He got me again. Flat out gacked Grandpa again. You know what they say. Insanity is trying the same thing two times and expecting different results. And I think he just got me the third time there. There was a placemat kill, and that guy was scooting along. He's not going to be able to check anybody in to the hotel. We're all going to run wild in the asylum here. We got the inmates running the asylum because the guy checking us in is no longer with us. Pretty powerful bullets coming out. Very pleased with this weapon. You should try it out. I mean, if all you do is carry a static all day or a Stig or an MCW or any other weapon, if that's all you're doing in COD, you're not getting the full experience. The full and satisfying experience. It's like when I was a freshman at the Air Force Academy that say, upperclassmen, did you have a full and ex full and satisfying experience at the meal. One time I said, no, sir. So they said, good. Get down and give me 20. It means 20 push-ups, or what we call squat thrusts. So I always have a full and satisfying experience since that moment forward. Where is this guy? Oh, nice, nice. Aim down, sight, movement, speed. Grandpa's got to admit it. One more gack. And there it is. 
So, yeah, this weapon's a great weapon. It is a top-tier assault rifle, and it's been significantly buffed in Season 6. Grandpa's got the rhythm there. As always, a like and subscribe would be appreciated. It helps me, helps the family. That was a bloody one. Cheers and peace to you, as always.